I can't tell you guys how many times, like I had a good story recently from this osteopath friend of mine, Chris, he's in, um, in Michigan. He runs a pediatric osteopath um, pro. They have like 36 osteopaths up there. And he was, t he was like, man, I can't freaking believe how good the needling works. He said, I, I had this 18 year old kid with like these weird MS type symptoms for the last two years. And Chris is a very good manipulator. So he does lots of manual work. Um, he doesn't go to prescription stuff right off the bat. So I really like him. And he was like, I could get him to go away a little bit and then it would come back. And I just, ne like I've been treating him consistently, but we just can't figure out what it is. And he said, dude, the first time I did a psoas and multifidus needle on him, it absolutely killed him. And he was 100% better afterwards, never had that problem again. So I think that's a good example of how just enough muscular aggravation can give you like neurodegenerative type symptoms, depending on that individual, where the muscle is that's pissed off or just how their nervous system works. But Chris was thinking he had like some weird autoimmune thing and it was just enough pissed off muscles around those nerves that were just giving him like these very unusual symptoms in his, in his legs and stuff like that. Bilaterally, yeah. He said he was like having like these, like these weird, like, yeah, like very unusual neurologic symptoms. Did Frank's dog escape? <laughs> no, I think the dog I heard a dog. I was wondering if your dog escaped. No, he's home. He's hanging out so that's so that's how I do that area, you guys, the psoas and, and the hip flexors. Any any other questions anatomy questions or anything like that around here? No, I'm definitely curious about this posterior one. I mean I, 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 I think You haven't done that one? It's it's, I think yeah, a lot it's, of it's I, easy. I think I'm trying, not so much with the psoas, but definitely the QL. Um, I quite often think about mid body of the muscle, you know, not at the twelfth rib, but I'll, I'll, like in the I'll, middle of it. I'll try to hit. I'll try to hit it on the ilium, but then I'll, quite often I'll go towards the spine. And try to get in the mid middle of the body. That's a perfectly fine way to do it, Frank. That's how I was taught how to do it. Uh -huh. That's um, Angela will do it that way. It for me, I just like to always stay as close to the ilium as I can because I think that's the safest way to do it. So mm -hmm. I, I've, mm -hmm. I'm not saying you're gonna have a problem doing it that way, um, <clears throat> but I've never had any type of an issue when I've been needling people 